Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to cover the content of BTEC Level 3, Unit 3, Ratio Analysis, which is part of Business Finance. Measuring Profitability. Ratio analysis allows the business to interpret published accounts by comparing figures. Ratios will be used by internal and external stakeholders. There are four profitability ratios, gross profit margin, markup, net profit margin, and return on capital employed. Gross profit margin. Gross profit margin is calculated as the gross profit divided by revenue times by 100. This ratio shows that for every one pound the business makes in sales, how much gross profit they have left. So if the gross profit is low, the firm may have to reduce the cost of their purchases or they can increase their sales. Markup. Markup is calculated as gross profit divided by cost of sales times by 100. This ratio looks at profit as a percentage. It shows what percentage of the cost of sales is added in order to reach the selling price. Net profit margin. This is calculated as net profit divided by revenue times by 100. This ratio shows for every one pound that is made in sales, how much of it is left as net profit after all the expenses have been deducted. If the net profit margin is low, a firm may have to reduce their expenses. Return on capital employed. This is calculated as net profit before tax divided by capital employed times by 100. This shows the percentage a business is earning from the capital being used. For every one pound invested in the business from the capital, what percent of it generates profit? Investors will compare the return on capital employed to the interest figure that the bank has to see if their investment is working. Measuring liquidity. Liquidity ratios measure how solvent a business is, so how able are they to meet their debts. The two liquidity ratios are current ratio and the asset test ratio. The current ratio, this, calculated, this is calculated by doing current assets divided by current liabilities. This ratio shows the amount of current assets in relation to current liabilities is expressed as a number 2 to 1. For example, if the ratio was 2 to 1, so for every £2 earned in current assets, £1 is owed in current liabilities. The business have to be careful as they have to make sure that they are able to make their payments. Liquid capital ratio. This is calculated as current assets minus inventory divided by current liabilities. This is the same ratio as a current ratio. However, it does not include inventory. As it is considered, it is harder to turn inventory into cash quickly. Measuring efficiency. Efficiency ratios are used to assess how well management control their main aspects of the business. So there are three efficiency ratios. There's trade receivable days, trade payable days, and inventory turnover. Trade receivable days. This is calculated by doing trade receivables divided by credit sales times by 365. This ratio measures, in general, how long it takes the people that owe the business money to pay back. The trade receivable days will vary depending on the items the business sells or sells. The firm, it will depend on whether the sale was made to a business or a consumer. Trade payable days. This is calculated as trade payables divided by credit purchases times by 365. This ratio measures how long it takes a business to pay for the money they owe to the other businesses for goods and services that they have received. Inver inventory turnover. This is calculated as average inventory divided by cost of sales times by 365. Average inventory is opening inventory plus closing inventory divided by two. This ratio measures the amount of days stock is held in the business. The rate of inventory turnover depends on the nature of the firm and the type of goods and services that they sell. What are the limitations of the ratios? They are calculated using old data, 
so might not reflect the business's current position. Financial data could be wrong, hence the ratios might not be accurate. And a ratio can indicate an issue in the business, but it does not identify the cause of the issue. Hopefully this video helped explain ratio analysis. You can pause this video and try out these questions. If you like this video, then give it a like. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then subscribe. You can follow my Instagram for more updates on YouTube videos and resources. And the resources to this video can also be found on my test shop.